Frank here. Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to very quickly set up a simple web server that you can use to share files from a Linux computer to other computers in your home network including those that are running Windows. So here's the problem. I've got an incredible video of a cat that I'm sure will go totally viral on YouTube and I want to quickly copy it to another computer. I don't want to create a permanent file share or a full on server for this. Being lazy, I just want to do this very quickly with minimal effort. What I'm going to show you can be used as either a temporary or a permanent server if desired. I will also show you how to configure a firewall exception on the server to allow access for all within your network, your home network. This is a really great way to very quickly share files from a particular folder that can be viewed or copied to any other computer in your home network. You can do this in well under a minute and there's no configuration necessary on the client computers. So let's get to it. Well here's my server machine here. This one is running Windows Mint 17 X-Face Edition. It's a pretty old machine. It's running fairly well. And the first thing I want to do is show you here's my documents folder and these two documents here this document and this kitty video are the ones that I want to move to another computer elsewhere in the house I don't want to share anything other than this documents folder I don't want to share downloads or desktop or anything like that just this folder I'll show you how to do that it's really easy well the first thing we're going to do is open up a terminal window and what I need to do is find out what the IP address is for this computer. And the way to do that is to type in ifconfig, hit enter. And this machine happens to have two Ethernet adapters. This top one isn't connected here, so I don't care about that. And here is my internet address, or inet address they call it. And I'm just concerned about this number here, this 192.168.056 and I'm going to write that down because I'm going to use that on the other machines to connect to this server. Now let me show you how to set this up just to share a particular folder and it's very simple to do. The way you do that is just start the server service from that folder and let me show you. So here's where I'm at right now. Here's my desktop documents download so forth. I just want to share this documents folder here. So I'm just going to change this directory that I'm in to documents and to do that just type in CD for change directory and then documents with a capital D now I'm in that documents directory I'll do a DIR here just to see what's in there and as is expected the only thing that's in here is my kitty vid and that document that I had here so we're set now to start the server service on here we just type in Python dash M and then simple HTTP server. Make sure that the S and simple and HTTP and the S and server are all capitalized. And just hit enter and that's it. That's all you do. And now we've got this server is running. It's serving HTTP which means that it's acting as a server and it's acting as a web server HTTP traffic on 0000, which simply means this machine, and it's doing so on port 8000, which is something we want to remember when we try to connect to the server. So one thing to keep in mind, if you're running a firewall on your server machine, here I'm running the GUFW firewall, which I recommend everybody do on Linux, and I've got it set to its default settings to basically block or deny all incoming connections. Now since we're now acting as a server, we're going to have other computers trying to connect to this machine. So I need to create a rule to allow this particular port number access. And I'll call this allow everybody and allow incoming uh, protocol is both. Protocol really is only TCP for this. And then this port number, I'm going to use this 8000. Put that in, click on add. Give it a second to add, which it did, and close. And there's my rule. Notice it created two of them. It created one for IP version 6, which we don't need. You can delete that one if you want. Uh, and that's it. So I'll just minimize that. And now I'm going to go over to my other computer. And let's see if we can get my kitty video to work. And all you got to do on this machine or other machines in your home network 
is just open up a browser and then we're going to type in that IP address that we looked at before 192.168.0.56 followed by a colon and then the 8000 which is that port number and then just hit enter and here's what we've got we've got these there's the two documents there's my my document for what cats are really thinking and there's my video and that's all we get it automatically creates this little listing which is pretty cool and uh, let's see if I want to click on this one I can either open it or save it on this machine here if I want to and let's see if my kitty video works ah there's kitty yeah that's gonna be huge now, if I want to just download this, I just right-click it and do Save Link As. And we'll save it to the desktop here. Kitty Video. Let me close, minimize this. And there it is. It saved my file. So that's working. That's all we got to do. Now, if we go back to the server, you can see a bunch of stuff here. It actually shows all the connections that came into the server here. And it shows the address that I that I came from. That's the address of the remote machine that it connected into here. So everything is good. Alright, let me go over to a Windows 8.1 machine and let's see if we can access those files as well. So all I'm going to do here is just open up Internet Explorer and in here you need to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then that number, 192.168.0.56, colon, 8000. And there it is. There's my files here. I can save this to the desktop if I want. Save target as. And I'll put it on the desktop, and I'll save it. And there you go. There's my kitty video on here. Now on newer Windows operating systems, you want to make sure you don't forget to type that HTTP colon forward slash forward slash at the beginning of the address because otherwise Windows won't know exactly what type of traffic it's looking for. It'll go to that IP address and port number, but it just won't know what to go get there. The reason we're typing HTTP is that that tells Windows or that browser that you're looking for web files. If you don't do this, Windows might pull up a web search or something because it just doesn't know what you want to do. Or it may give you a message that Windows needs to install an app or something. And of course, it won't be able to find an app for this. So if you run into any kind of these problems or if you run into strange results in Linux, just make sure you type that HTTP first and then you should be good. Okay, so let's say we're all done with our server here and we want to just turn the server off. How do you do that? You just simply close the terminal window and that'll kill that process that's going. That's all you do. Well, I wish I'd known about this years ago. I could have used this a bunch of times. This is something that, that actually it's part of Python 2.7 that's automatically installed on Linux. Most versions of Linux, relatively new ones. Even though the machine has actually Python 2.7 and Python 3 installed, it'll automatically go find this in the 2.7 folder. So you don't have to install anything on the server. Nothing to do as long as you're using, you know, some relatively new version of Linux Mint or Ubuntu or, or most any other modern version of Linux. I hope you found this informative and useful. And if you did, I really appreciate you giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That'll really help me out. And until next time, cheers.